Hey folks, in this tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to use Master Control in Facewear Targeter. Now, as with all the other key cleaning tools, Master Control is specific to a pose group here. So first thing you want to do is select the group that you're actually uh, wanting to change. In this case I'm showing you with the mouth group. So I have mouth selected. I've got a few poses in here. Now, what Master Control does is it adjusts the timing of your animation, uh, the timing of the keyframes. Now, I've currently got two controls selected in my uh, graph editor here. And if I zoom into these curves, you'll notice that, I'm going to make it a little easier to see here, the keyframes are placed uh, uniquely as far as the timing is concerned. And what that means is uh, here, you could see that the translate attribute has a key on this frame, but the O attribute doesn't. Now each channel that it's animating, every channel in your entire group is going to have a unique timing, uh, meaning that they do not need to share the same frames for every keyframe. Uh, here's another example of that where you've got a key on this frame but not on the curve above it. Now in most cases that's not a big deal and you don't need to ever worry about this. But there are very specific cases, such as uh, some particular game engines, that uh, simply don't allow this behavior. Um, they mandate that every key needs to be on the same frame. And what I'm doing here is essentially what your game engine might do, where you work really hard on your animation, and then the engine's going to come through here and say, you know what, not allowed. I'm going to move all these keys so that they're on the same frames until every channel has a timing signature where all your keys are lined up. Now, obviously that's going to be destructive to your animation, and we prefer not to let the game engine handle that. Um, we actually built this uh, when we were doing a project ourselves, and we ran into that problem, where all of our animation in Retargeter looked great, and everybody was happy, and then we looked at it in the game, and it looked totally different. So we did some investigating and found out that this was the problem. Uh, again, not the case in every project, but if you do uh, have that requirement or you're just a really, really picky animator and want all your keys to line up, this is how we use that feature. Now by default it's going to be turned off, meaning it's set to none. Now the reason it's called Master Control is if you double click this, you're going to be presented with a list of controllers that exist in the mouth group. And what I can actually do here is select one of these to be uh, my master. Now, in this case, I'm going to select the Translate Y, which is the jaw up and down movement. And by selecting that, I'm going to click Retarget. And that's going to reanimate my shot here with the master control being the Translate Y. And what that actually means is what it's going to do first is animate my Translate Y. And then every other channel in the group is only allowed to have a keyframe where the Translate Y does. And what you end up with is if I just select all my curves here, you'll now notice that all of my keyframes are nice and lined up on the same frames. See, I have keys all for every channel in this group. My keys are all lined up. Now, you're probably thinking, well, if it needs to move all those keys, then what's it going to do to the quality of my animation? And you would be absolutely right to think that because it is going to change your animation quite a bit by needing to do this. Um, it's going to shift things around. It's still going to do its very best to animate, you know, the best it can uh, based on, on this restriction. But it is definitely going to change your animation from what you would see with this turned off. Now what we've done to help compensate for that is we've generated the auto feature. So by turning this from none to auto, you're basically telling it, okay, there doesn't need to be one particular master. You do need to line up all my keyframes, but do it in the least destructive way. So by doing this, I'll click retarget again, and you're sort of leaving it in the hands of the computer to uh, not be so destructive with your keys and to hopefully give you a better result than if you were using uh, a chosen master. You can see that in a second here. So you can see it is slightly different. Not a whole lot because it still has that requirement to line everything up, but you're definitely going to get a better result most of the time using auto than choosing your own. Uh, if you do need to use master control, what I would recommend is when you first start a shot, 
set this to auto and just leave it on all the time. That way you're not getting a result you're happy with and then turning it to auto and realizing it doesn't look as, you know, the, the same as it did before. So again, to reiterate, when you open a performance, first thing you want to do is set this to auto if you have that timing requirement. Uh, to be clear again, if you don't have that re timing requirement, if you're not working on a game engine that cares about this sort of thing, uh, just leave it turned off. Leave that set to none and you'll never have to worry about it. Uh, for more questions about master control or if anything was unclear or if you just need help in general with Retargeter, please visit support.facewartech.com.